Hi, Dr. Michael DiMattina, Medical Director at Dominion Fertility. So I want to talk to you today about birth control pills and their use in IVF patients. And I've been preaching this for many, many years that birth control pills can be very detrimental when they're used prior to the stimulation of a patient's ovaries. Many studies have demonstrated this and guess what? Last week, my Parent Fertility Society came out with a statement about cycle scheduling for using oral contraceptive pills, birth control pills, are we compromising the IVF pregnancy rates for the doctor's convenience and for the IVF center's convenience. And they're saying, yes, we are. I don't use birth control pills, and we haven't used them for many, many years in the far majority of our patients who go through IVF. Because it's been shown in many, many studies, and now they're saying, hey, doctors out there, wake up. You're getting lower birth rates, both in your fresh transfers and your cumulative live birth rates. That's no good. So why do these IVF centers keep using birth control pills and their patients are gonna stimulate? And it's because of their own convenience in most of the cases. They wanna batch patients. They wanna control the number of cycles they're going through so they have personnel, laboratory space. This is all fine and dandy, but you can't use birth control pills in many, many patients because it suppresses their ovaries. That's how birth control pills work. They suppress the ovaries, everybody knows it and stopping the birth control pill for a week or two, the ovaries don't have enough time to recover. And so you get fewer eggs, fewer embryos, and lower pregnancy rates. All patients, in my opinion, who have diminished ovarian reserve, their egg quantity is a little bit compromised or severely compromised. They should avoid birth control pills prior to their stimulation, like the plague, because you're gonna get fewer eggs, fewer embryos, fewer babies. So at Dominion Fertility, we rarely use birth control pills in stimulated IVF because of the reasons I just mentioned. We get more eggs, we get more embryos, we get higher pregnancy rates, we get more live births. And the single most important outcome is show us your baby. Why would we want to do something to impede that? So birth control pills and stimulated IVF in general, we don't go for that. And now the American Society of Reproductive Medicine has finally got, come out with a reflection of what the current state of the art is. Beware when you take birth control pills and you're going through stimulated IVF. It may not be in your best interest. Dr. D. Matina, Dominion Fertility. Dominion Fertility, making miracles happen one family at a time.